Hi, makeup artist Lily Beth here. My last video was a quick little mascara hack and it was just simply about taking the restrictor out of the middle of the product so you can make the most of your mascara that's left in the tube before you throw it away. Um, before I got my um, license driving a car, I used to drive a little scooter for about mm, five or six years or so before I learned to drive properly. And anyway, um, for the New Zealand market, there's little restrictor thingies in the engine <clears throat> that limit the speed of the scooter. And I heard about this and I knew that you could take them out. So while I was getting some work done on my scooter one day, I asked the people to take out the restrictors on my, my scooter. And then it could do, um, it already could do 80 k's an hour, which was heaps for a 50 cc <clears throat> or 49 cc or whatever it, that scooter was. But then um, when I took the restrictors off, I thought I could maybe do 100 k's or something. <clears throat> but it turns out the um, restrictor only let me do maybe another 5 k's an hour. So I could go about 85 k's an hour on the flat, but I was still pretty happy with that. So that was a trick for scooters, motor scooters, mopeds. But the same kind of reference applies to your mascaras and the products that you have that have like a little restrictor in them. So my last video showed about this little restrictor here which is like a little like a little lip and this is like a funnel shaped um, doohickey that's in the middle of a lot of your mascaras. So this is about taking the restrictor out and then you're able to get more product out. Now I don't know if I can do this right now with my teeth. This is my own mascara so I won't be using it on anyone else. Sometimes you can't do it with your teeth and you have to use a knife. There it is. Okay, I just pulled out the restrictor. There. And now this is the opening of my mascara. So if your mascara is kind of getting low and you think that, oh damn, I just bought that mascara, I'm sure there's heaps of product left in it or um, anything like that, before you throw it out now, I've taken the restrictor off and that's one of the results, way too much product on the, on the wand. But now you can access all that product before you throw your um, mascara away. Cheap or expensive, it's still worth doing. So whip out that little restrictor. I did it with my teeth on camera. You can do it with a knife or scissors, or be really careful, or put something into the product and pull out the restrictor that way. Uh, yeah. So now you can hit the sides of the product and get, look how much gunk there is still left in there. Um, yeah, so all you do then of course is just wipe it off and use it as normal. But now I've also angled the brush on this one a bit so it hits the side of the tube properly and gets even more product out. So now you'll be able to get almost all of your mascara out without wasting any before you throw it away. Now that little trick also applies for the other products in your makeup stash that have the same restrictors. Like lip glosses, this kind of thing. Look at that, that's a restrictor. You can take that out. And then of course when you're getting, um, this has got heaps of product left in it, but when you're getting down to the end you'll find that normally the, the lip gloss wand or the little applicator gets to about here, but then of course you'll be able to get in a little bit closer because you take out the restrictor. Um, same thing applies for your lash serum. So this is more expensive, so you probably really want to get everything, every drop of product out of this. And that has a restrictor too. And there it is. So now you can get the product, like the little wand or whatever applicator, way down and that like it's just like about to drip off. So why waste your product? So just think about that next time you're about to throw something out. Um, you know, hey, I don't um, encourage people to use things past expiry dates, for, exa for example, but if it's your own product and you're happy to keep using it, see what is left in the bottom of that mascara or that serum or that lip gloss before you throw it away and you'll be super stoked with which you with what you find um, maybe you can post some comments or your findings about how um, you took the restrictor off and if you found a lot more product that you could access once you've done that um, or if you've got any troubles doing that um, and you've got any questions about taking out that little restrictor um, just comment or pop me an email or a Facebook message I'd love to hear from you hope that's helped if you'd like some more mascara hacks or um, Kiwi style makeup tricks go to my website and subscribe to my beauty bulletin it's a monthly email in your inbox um, direct from me and so go to my website www.abeautifuleducation.co.nz that's abeautifuleducation.co.nz and subscribe to my beauty bulletin thanks